Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. At the beginning of April, I let you know that the Windows 11 start menu as we know it could be getting a major overhaul, which could include finally an option to remove the recommended section, where Microsoft appears to be working on a significant update to the start menu on Windows 11. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen for what it's worth. Now that was unofficial confirmation because it was a hidden feature that was spotted in the early preview builds. And hidden features are code that Microsoft is working on internally and hasn't enabled yet in the OS. Now just to let you know that Microsoft now has finally officially announced that Windows 11 is going to be getting a new start menu which features a new, more customizable layout and deeper integration with Windows Phone Link. Now, just to kind of break this down to show you the different changes, the new start menu includes three different views for the all apps list, which now appears at the bottom of the main start menu page, where currently all apps is right at the top, as you may well know. So with these um, new views, you will get a list view, which is the normal view, a new grid list view, and a new category view, which is currently being displayed, which will automatically group your installed apps into folders, as you can see in the image provided by Microsoft. And yeah, on the right, we get the phone link um, companion, which shows an overview of your smartphone, including current battery level and connection status and so on, along with recent photos and messages. And the good news is though, if you don't want to see the so-called widget next to your start menu, the companion can be hidden, if we zoom in, from view by pressing the collapse button next to the search bar at the top of the start menu, which I think is a nice option because it's always good when we do get options. And yeah, we can see that it will allow you to show all your pinned apps by default, show all. And you can also hide the recommended feed, which I'm very happy to hear because that's something I was hoping for years since the rollout of Windows 11 that Microsoft would introduce because I just found the recommended section wasted real estate on the start menu. Meaning, with the option to hide the recommended feed, you can make the start menu show a complete page of pinned apps above your all apps list, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. So a lot of customization coming into the start menu, which I think is great. Now it's still very early days with this new start menu layout. And Microsoft has mentioned in the announcement that it will be available to test in the Windows Insider program shortly and will roll out as a optional bug fix non-security C-release update to Windows 11 later this year. Now, over and above that, there's no more information. So we don't know if this will be part of Windows 11 24H2 or Windows 11 25H2, which will be rolling out in around about September, October later this year. But nonetheless, I think this is a great move. I think having a bit of customization in the start menu, um, I think especially with Windows 11, is a step in the right direction. And I'll keep you posted when I get more info. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.